This is Kylie Shapu for ITL 516, Mathematics Integrative Design. Today I'm going to be teaching a math concept of addition and subtraction using a 10 frame visual model for the kindergarten level. To begin, a little bit of a conceptual understanding behind addition and subtraction. So addition simply means adding two or joining two numbers together. Addition is represented by this little symbol right here. It's a plus sign or looks like a little cross or a little T. And subtraction is the opposite. Subtraction simply means taking away from. Um, and it's represented by this little symbol right here. So to put it into an example, if we take two numbers, one and one, and we want to add them together or join them together, we're going to use this little sign, one added to another one will equal two. This is what we call the sum or the answer. And then subtraction, we can do the same thing, but just change a few numbers around to illustrate. So for subtraction, we'll do three minus one, or one being taken away from three equals two. Prior knowledge that students will need to be able to accomplish this task is um, a decent number sense as well as um, the count sequence. So moving on to our 10 frame. 10 frame is this little um, box with 10 different cells in it. This is a great visual model, a visual aid to help students really grasp this, grasp this concept of addition and subtraction. Um, to start, I want to use a concrete representation um, with manipulatives. In this case, they're virtual. Um, here we have little Lego Larry and Lego Lauren, and they're going to help us solve these addition problems. So here we see our symbols. We know that this first one is going to be addition. The second one is going to be subtraction. So to begin, we want to add the value of 5 plus 2. So using a 10 frame, I would have my students begin by taking 10 Legos, or a group of Legos, sorry, not 10, um, and we'll take Larry's to represent the 5. So there's one Larry, two, three. They'll just take their manipulatives and they'll place them into the box of their 10 frame, which can just be printed onto a piece of paper or a worksheet. So here we have five Lego Larry's representing this 5. Now we want to add two more Legos. In this case, we'll be Lego Lauren. We'll put her over here. One and two. So now we have represented on the 10 frame our first problem. We have five Larry's added to two Lauren's. The final step is to count how many Legos we have in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we know that five added to two is going to be seven. Subtracting looks very similar. In this case, I have seven subtracting three, or three being taken away from seven. Since we already have seven Legos on our 10 frame, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we already have this first digit represented. So all we need to now do is take away three. So we'll delete Lauren, two, one Larry is three. Final step is counting the remaining Legos. One, two, three, four. We now know that seven minus three, or seven subtracting three, is going to equal four. And that's just one way that students can use a 10 frame with manipulatives to represent um, and get more familiar with this concept. They can use coins, they can use unifix cubes, they can use blocks, whatever manipulative will help. I just feel that for the kindergarten level, Legos are appropriate.